Hey guys, this is Ray for Phone Arena and what you're watching is a video overview of the brand new Sense uh, 4 user interface used by HTC in the new HTC One X. Uh, you know of course that the handset runs Android uh, 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich but on top of this as usual HTC has decided uh, to uh, place its own layer of graphical user interface and uh, with this handset we're actually uh, getting introduced to the newest version of this UI called uh, as we said Sense 4. So um, let's start examining the, the new Sense uh, user interface uh, from the home screen and it's uh, noticeable right away that uh, HTC has something, had something in mind when designing this uh, this new UI and one of the main things was that they wanted to make the UI simpler uh, than what we had in previous iterations of the software uh, due to the user feedback uh, they decided to remove this uh, 3D carousel which happened when you uh, s uh, swipe between home screens very fast as you can see that the widgets are not as 3D as they uh, used to be although they're still 3D as you can see very clearly with this widget uh, but the thing is that the effect this time uh, is uh, much uh, simpler, not as intrusive as it used to be. So that was among the main uh, focuses of uh, HTC when, do when creating Sense4. And it was to create the simpler UI, which, was, uh, which still added a lot of functionality to the standard uh, ice cream sandwich experience but uh, at the same time uh, it wouldn't feel cluttered and uh, too heavy. The home screen as you can see is your usual uh, HTC Sense affair. You have multiple home screen pages on which you can uh, place uh, all kinds of uh, icon shortcuts, folders and of course widgets. Uh, now even though HTC has done a lot of uh, changes to the UI uh, it's uh, easily seen that they have preserved that typical HTC look uh, for example by keeping this uh, weather clock here which sits prominently at the home page or uh, and there are still those giant widgets like uh, this music player one which uh, simply take up the a whole home screen page which is kind of nice because it means that they uh, provide you with a lot of functionality these widgets let's uh, see how we can add a widget here very quickly I'll just go to an empty home screen page hold down on uh, my finger on the screen and then I get the list of all widgets as you can see there is uh, a lot of choice here maybe one two three four cal calculators are here for example different uh, agenda widgets these are the standard ice cream sandwich ones and some additional ones as well here is a nice clock for example that we may place on our empty home screen page and uh, we actually get to choose a time time zone here okay and let's check it out there is the clock that we just place, placed okay I'll just remove it and show you some more of the built-in widgets you see there are a, to a total of 25 pages here so a lot of choice really for the user in terms of uh, widgets the main menu in the new HTC Sense 4 is now divided into separate pages uh, which are actually grids of 4 by 5 icon uh, app icons and uh, this time they are actually uh, arranged horizontally so when you're scrolling between them you're scrolling horizontally and not and not vertically as it used to be with uh, previous versions of Sense. Uh, in addition to this you get these uh, 
useful tabs here at the bottom where you can check out the, the apps that you've used most frequently and uh, the applications that you have downloaded uh, from the Play Store. There are also these uh, helpful keys here which may take you uh, directly to the Play Store so you don't have to search for the icon here and the other one is the search key which lets you quickly find a certain application. Even though HTC has done a lot uh, in order to simplify the user interface, this doesn't mean that uh, they have removed uh, all kinds of personalization options, for example. And as we can see with this personalized app here, once we launch it, here are uh, the typical uh, HTC Sense personalization options. Uh, if you've used a, uh, such a handset before, uh, you surely know about the scenes in HTC Sense. Here they are, which uh, let you quickly transform the look of your handsets. Let do, let's do this right now and choose this nice scene here. So basically what the scenes involve uh, is changing the wallpaper, changing the uh, the arrangement of the widgets and icons on your home screens. There are different sets actually of uh, widgets. And uh, just like that we have uh, somewhat different HTC One X just by switching the scene. Another option from the personalized application is the skin chooser. Here are a number of skins. These skins actually let you further customize your device. Let's say we want this one. And there we have it. What the skins do is to uh, preserve the arrangement. Uh, of your widgets, icons and so on, but they do change of some graphical elements and the wallpaper. From the personalized app you can also choose whether or not you want uh, some shortcuts to appear on your lock screen and the shortcuts that appear there are actually these uh, shortcuts which are placed in this quick launch dock. Of course we can substitute all of these very easily or create a whole uh, folder here. And so now when I uh, turn off the screen and turn it on again, I have these shortcuts placed right here. And I simply tap them and move them so that they fall into this circle and this automatically sends me there. Here is the dialer in uh, HTC Sense 4 and it's uh, nothing unusual, the standard dialer thing. Uh, this is placed in this first tab here, it's called phone, but uh, as we move to the second tab, which is people, uh, we simply get to see our full list of uh, available contacts. Then we have groups and then we have call history. Okay, so let's uh, see how the contact view looks like. We have a nice big image of uh, the person and then we have uh, an option to call them, send them an email, uh, view their address on Google Maps, edit something about a contact, assign a specific ringtone and so on and so forth. Now let's turn our attention to the messaging experience in HTC Sense 4. This is how you compose your message. Of course, you pick a certain contact here, just type their name, number, or just pick them from the contact, from the people list. And this is the portrait QWERTY keyboard. It's not bad, but it's uh, it could have been better. Uh, of course, we don't like there is so uh, th that the place uh, between the individual keys is so small. Uh, so it's relatively easy to mispress a key and uh, let's s check out the uh, landscape option. Of course it's uh, a lot bigger uh, compared to the portrait one and uh, when you factor in uh, the great real estate here 4.7 inches with the 1x 
this makes for one very very big keyboard but still it could have been uh, better for example we don't really need these arrows here to the right there could be more space between the keys uh, the colors could have been different so that it's uh, easy to spot uh, a key and uh, make it less likely for the user to mispress one. But anyways, uh, the keyboard is usable and if you don't, uh, if you happen to not like it, you can always substitute it uh, with something that you can find at uh, Google's, at the Play Store. So this was the messaging how messaging was done and uh, I'll quickly show you the email options right now this is uh, where you can set your uh, email and as you can see you can easily set up a, a number of accounts you can uh, set up an exchange active sync account you can set up uh, a gmail account yahoo mail uh, microsoft hotmail and of course any other custom email account that you may want. Now uh, going to the Gmail application, let's just uh, find where it is. Gmail, Gmail, where are you? Here it is. Of course Gmail is unaltered uh, in Sense4, so this is the same exact uh, Gmail experience that you will find uh, in any ice cream sandwich phone but anyways it's just nice uh, to see how uh, this Gmail experience looks on the new HTC One X. Let's take a look at the calendar in uh, Sense4. This is it, the personalized calendar by HTC. This is the standard month view, nothing uh, really special here. And then we can move on to day view. This is the day view, again nothing out of the ordinary. Here is how uh, appointments look. We can do, oh yeah, we can do uh, the pinch zooming gesture here which is available with all ice cream sandwich handsets and is very usable. Finally here is the agenda view. All of your appointments in the list and then we can see our invitations. Apparently no one needs us anywhere. Uh, what we see here, uh, something more specific, is that uh, there doesn't seem to be a weekly view, which is kind of strange. Strange omission, really. But uh, yeah, apparently HTC decided that it's not that important uh, to have this. So there we go, the calendar and the new HTC Sense um, user interface. Let's check out something even more common, uh, the alarms, for example, the clock application. It's a very nice app, actually. We get to see this uh, globe here in the upper part and we see the temperatures, current temperatures, uh, in the major cities around uh, around the world, obviously. Then we have a second tab which uh, is dedicated to our alarms. This is how you activate and deactivate an alarm. Let's set an additional alarm here. This is how it's done. Very nice graphical user in interface easy to do. You can add a description here. You can choose the alarm sound when uh, you want this alarm to repeat in on which days and whether or not you want vibration for this alarm. So pretty decent customization options uh, for your alarms. On top of this we also have the standard stopwatch and timer. Now let's take a look at something more advanced, the web browsing experience. This is the stock uh, HTC uh, browser and for the most part of course it gets the job done. It functions uh, decently. We see there is smooth scrolling and relatively, relatively smooth uh, zooming here but there are some things we don't like 
about this browser. Uh, as you can probably see, it's a bit glitchy. There are some glitches with its operation, for example, associated with these uh, buttons here that appear at the bottom of the screen. They are basically buttons that let you add this page to a bookmark, for example, or take you to the bookmarks, or show you the opened tabs, such kind of stuff. Uh, but the thing is that they do not appear, they seem to appear randomly on the screen. You see, I'm scrolling, sometimes they do not appear, sometimes they appear, and we guess that all of this inconsistency here with the interface uh, might be a bit frustrating for a not so tech savvy user and even for us uh, who are deep into uh, mobile uh, smartphones it, get, it does get frustrating uh, at times because it's not uh, clearly uh, uh, it's not very clear when these keys appear uh, another example is with uh, zooming, uh, when you zoom into and out of the page, uh, regardless if uh, you're doing it by multi-touch or double tap. And I'll show you now, I'll just zoom over to this and it literally takes a second or a couple of seconds for the handset to reflow the text. Uh, and. Uh, it creates this impression that uh, the action is completed and then you start, for example, moving to somewhere like this and boom, it blinks and uh, changes your view, reformats uh, the text. This is also something uh, not very intuitive and something we don't really like in, uh, in this browser. Um, apparently, um, it may not be such a big problem here with this web page, uh, but uh, there are some instances where this can get really irritating because your view may get offset a lot and you kind of have to search where you were uh, once again, so it's not very intuitive. Uh, the bad side of this though is that we try to uh, sort things out by installing a third-party browser and we tried two browsers. Opera Mobile and Dolphin HD, which are among the best out there. Opera Mobile crashed upon loading a web page, while Dolphin HD uh, had the same exact problem with this blinking and reflowing of the text. So we, that's really something uh, we don't understand why HTC has uh, done it this way uh, since. First of all, there is no need to reflow the text here. You see what you, something just happens here and everything is blinking and reflowing and it's really unnecessary uh, because the screen has uh, so much pixels here in the uh, 1x so and I can just uh, zoom to this level and it's very easy to see there is no need to shrink the text or anything like that. Um, anyways, we guess that there is a browser out there, probably Opera Mini <laughs> will get the job done. Um, and of course the, the stock browser also supports uh, the flash player, so you won't miss a thing with this uh, device. Although we did expect uh, to see more uh, in this aspect with such a premium smartphone. HTC has done a great job with its new camera technology, uh, which has uh, even gotten its own name. It's called Image Sense, and uh, we really like the first thing we like about it is its interface. As you can see, it's uh, pretty simple, but the best thing, according to us, about it is that uh, there is a camera shutter and a video recording button all at the same time. Uh, here on the screen, so you no longer have to change modes between uh, still shots and video in order to start recording uh, the stuff. So uh, if you want to take a, a picture, you simply tap the camera shutter. If you want to start recording a video, you tap this button here. So uh, it's a really neat idea uh, if you ask us. Here by touching this button, we get these uh, some nice uh, photo effects like mono, dots, uh, vignette and so on. 
Of course, there are some more advanced options uh, with this camera interface. Uh, it's not that simple. You can set a self-timer, for example, and you can also change image resolution, the video recording resolution. The image adjustments include changing the exposure, contrast, saturation, and sharpness. But in addition, you can also tweak the ISO sensitivity and the white balance. Uh, there is a continuous shooting mode, which is uh, very cool. It allows you to take a lot, really a lot of images in under a, uh, in under a second. Uh, although the focusing there is not really spot on. Um, and there is also this neat option, which lets you take still images while recording a video, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. Another thing that HTC uh, has done great uh, in terms of its camera technology image sense uh, is that images are now taken very, very fast. Uh, there is almost uh, no uh, time uh, in, in order for the handset to, uh, to autofocus. Uh, it just happens instantly. I'll show you now. See, I just tap this and the image is taken. Another one another image. Once again, it really uh, autofocuses very quickly and takes the image and saves it in all of, all of this in under a second, which is uh, really a great achievement according to us. Here is the new uh, HTC Sense music player. It's integrated with SoundHound, TuneIn Radio, uh, 7 digital and so on. Uh, you can see in the lower part the recently played songs and uh, we'll just go to what we have on our phone here and pick a song. This is how it looks like. We have this uh, decently sized album art cover. Uh, as we said the music player is integrated with SoundHound so with uh, simply a tap of this key here, our songs, our song actually continues to play while uh, SoundHound analyzes it and gives us this additional information like lyrics, uh, the year when it was released and so on, so it's really uh, great stuff. As you can probably see, HTC has added um, a lot of additional applications here uh, right out of the box, like SoundHound, uh, as we said, uh, a tasks um, application, it's watch service, uh, you also have, what else? Uh, we have the Polaris office, pretty decent addition, a PDF viewer, and a mirror application which basically launches the front-facing uh, camera. But among the most uh, interesting things is the is HTC's hub, which uh, is a centralized place where you can get uh, some personalization assets for your uh, device or some uh, selected applications. Uh, it's not uh, really great stuff here, but it's something just in addition, you know, that uh, users can take advantage of. When it comes to multitasking, HTC has uh, personalized the whole thing here. Uh, as you probably know, in standard stock uh, ice cream sandwich, when we press the multitasking key, uh, there is uh, a series of, uh, image of image thumbnails which appear uh, vertically uh, here, and you scroll it like this and choose the one that you need. But with HTC Sense 4, this is the, mo the multitasking experience. The good thing about it is that it runs very fluidly, so it's easy to work with this. Uh, the bad thing about it is that um, very few stuff uh, gets into your view like this, so you have to do a lot, of, uh, a lot of scrolling like this in order to find what you're looking for. And it's, it's actually uh, probably uh, more impressive in terms of eye candy, but it's not as functional as the stock multitasking option in Ice Cream Sandwich. And this was our video overview of the new HTC Sense 4 user interface by the manufacturer, uh, which will probably appear on uh, 
every new HTC uh, device from now on, uh, starting with the new One series of handsets. So this is the direction that the HTC is going with the new Sense uh, UI. It wanted to make a simpler user experience. Uh, they have certainly done it, but of course they have kept uh, their uh, traditional characteristic uh, HTC or Sense look with these awesome widgets here. So there is no, you, there cannot simply, uh, you simply can't make a mistake that this is an HTC um, device. At the same time, they have kept the advanced functionality, a lot of the advanced functionalities of uh, Sense, including the personalization uh, options. Uh, that being said, we think that HTC still has some work to do. Uh, there are some uh, strange slowdowns, as we saw, as in the browser, or uh, the keyboard could be a lot better. So uh, this is, these are just some areas where uh, HTC can work to improve uh, its user experience, but it is on the right track now. Um, this was Ray for Phone Arena with an overview of the HTC Sense 4 user interface for you. If you'd like to learn more about uh, this uh, software or the uh, HTC One X, uh, feel free to visit us anytime at phonearena.com.